Hey guys, and welcome to an unboxing video slash live stream because I'm doing this live because I had some problems trying to record this. So I'm sorry, I already threw three, three packs. Still gonna show what I got. Um, I'm unboxing a box of Age of Sigma uh, Champions. It's a card game made by PlayFusion, powered by uh, Games Workshop, based on the Age of Sigma storyline and storytelling. So, um, simply while I was trying to record this normally, uh, I ran out of memory. <laughs> so, um, my camera crashed. Um, I had to find an alternative way to get this online. Meaning that, well, you will, miss, uh, will have missed three packs of me opening Age of Sigma Champions. Um, these are the uncommons, which I won't go over. I will go over the rest and I will show you the foils I did get. So, uh, while I open the packs, I will actually tell you the names of the uncommons I got. I will go over the rares that I got and I'll show you the foil I got. So that's how we're gonna do this. Let's get started. This is Wesley speaking. Uh, let's first go over what we got so far. So, uh, the Slashing Scream uh, is a 2 damage, 2 damage, 1 damage, uh, 3 damage, 1 damage to yourself. But you can Heroic Act to do, deal 1 cell to yourself. Um, well, speaking is going very well. 1 damage to yourself and remove a highlighted unit. We also have two champions. So we have Aspect of the Seer, which is a champion wizard with when this uh, champion controls a spell, any highlighted units are dormant, which is really powerful. Scar of Blood Wrath. When the champion removes a highlighted unit, shovel one card from the disco pile, a unit card, from the disco pile into your deck. So, um, those are the rares I got. Uh, these are the foils. Searching Firestorm. Arcanaut Spider. And a Groot Shaman Spider Rider. Mm. Alright, so let's get back to unpacking. Uh, for everybody who doesn't know this game, um, there is an amazing YouTube channel uh, called War... Um, Warhammer is the Sigma Champions. If you search that up, you'll get a full review about everything that this truly is and uh, the entire game. If you do know the game, I hope you enjoy this video. So, uh, let's continue cracking packies. <laughs> oh, those are my first uncommon right? Yep. There we go. Uh, Blood Warrior Berserker. Reckless Inspiration, Norman Soul Feeder, and a rare is Gaze of Cornet. Trigger the current effect of highlighted unit, then remove it. Oh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Not uh, too disappointed at that. I'm gonna pile that. Our champion is Skeleton, skeleton Champion, and our blessing is actually an uncommon favor of a favor of God. It's all right, and we got a foiled Charging Black Knight. All right, so next pack. So there were 24 total packs, so we have got a long way to go here, guys. This is only like pack number five. <laughs> I love this card game. It's an absolutely enjoyable game, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, I hope you guys are having as many fun playing this card game. Online or offline, as I have. So, uh, Gift of Change, uh, Sanction, Dick Strauber Crew, and ooh, I love this vehicle. Unholed Mortis Engine is an increased uh, damage from highlighted allied spells, reduced damage received from highlighted enemy spells, heroic act, 3 damage to your opponent. Gain three life. Rotate this one. St uh, rotate this one step forward. It's a really great card. Uh, love playing it against wizard blades. Dex Crypt Hunter is our um. Wait, what? Why do I get two champions in this pack? Um, I'm a bit confused. Ah, uh, but anyway. 
Uh, Axel is dead bringer. Uh, because I didn't get a blessing. Okay. So I got two champions instead of a blessing. Uh, normally you're supposed to get a blessing, but I got a foil blessing in the back. Maybe that's it. I don't I don't understand that. But that's a foil blessing called uh, Line Rose Last Lament. So that's a booster pack. We're all very five minutes into this and we're not even close to finishing this box. Let's uh, go to the uncommon scouts and iron break. Brutal Smash, Cryptic Shields, a Shield Skeleton, and a rare is a Gripped Charge Pack. Heroic Act, Rotate, a Highlighted Stonecaster Unit, one step forward. Good for your Stonecaster decks there. So, uh, here we go. We got uh, Blood Thrones of Corns as our uncommon, as our common uh, champion. You got a common uh, Dad of Trace blessing and a foiled pink horror conjuring. <laughs> really fun, but beautiful foils. I absolutely love the foils in this. Uh, absolutely love the foils in this game. Uh, so I try to get as many of these foils as I can. So I bought a booster box. It's a uh, fun fact, I needed to buy this at my local game store and not at my Games Workshop. Which sounds stupid for something that's Warhammer related. Skeleton Legion, a Summon Demon, Spread Skulker, and we have a rare unit. It's a uh, Celestial Pros... Well, we are terrible at pronouncing Celestial Prosecutor. Corner 2 to 3. Increase damage done to your opponent from highlighted units by to corner. And corner 4 is a damage to your opponent. So that's it's okay. Uh, that's a rare. Uh, okay. So our uh, champion is uh, Iris Horror, which is a common. Got an uncommon total carnage. A blessing. We got a foil blessing called Ooh. Morbid Terror. Blessing passive. And that's a common foil. Next pack. So I uh, hope you guys are all doing okay. I'm fine. Uh, what other card games do you really like playing? That's a good question. I love playing card games a lot and uh, I'm always searching for new. I'm kind of waiting for Keyforge to come out. Also, this weekend I will be at First Look for every Dutchie on this channel. We will be at First Look. Uh, surprise Skulker again. I'm uh, gonna move that up a bit. Put that out of the way. Uh, we've got a burning enrage. A close. And we have a rare champion. It's a unique champion. It's a uh, six minus one life. Heroic act. I'm gonna keep it a little bit closer so you can read it a bit better. Heroic act. Uh, highlighted non demon units. Uh, rotate a highlighted non demon unit one step forward. If this triggers an damage effect, increase that by one. That's really good. I might actually play that if I wasn't playing loads of demons in my deck. I might build a second deck around that. Got also Liberator Prime, which is a common champion. Got an uncommon, uh, uncommon Stormcaster uh, blessing. It's uh, Storm's Decent. And we got Blue Flame as our foil. The foiling on this game is just really incredible. For everybody who uh, has played this uh, or opened packs and doesn't understand these, by the way, you can uh, scan these online to get online uh, booster items. And uh, other people can scan them as well. So you can have multiple people scanning these cards for points. That's uh, kind of what we're going there with the uh, booster cards. Ah, damn these packs. Also, um, there is something, and I'm going to check if that's still the thing, that I noticed. And yes, it is still a thing. Then you won't be able to see it, will you? 
don't think maybe I can find a better version, a more clear version, or was it just a print room? Because that no, it was just a print room mistake. They're not as terrible on this. So there's uh, a print run out there, which is the original print run, where uh, the foilings all really are damaged, which sucks because the foiling is incredible. Oh, come on. Just not a good thing, you know? Uh, come on, come on. Okay. Sanction is our own common. Restore blessings. Sure. Is searing light. Isn't that a different art from Searing Light? Oh, that's Searing Firestorm. <laughs> Our, uh... Maybe I should keep the cards in <laughs> to the camera. Um, Fearsome Cryptic Taylor is a uh, highlighted genius of torment. There's your opponent. That's our rare. Like that. Uh, Massive Top of War Boss is our a champion. Swift Judgment is our... Uh, ooh, that's sexy. Tight to that, which does way too much. Corner one, draw cards. Corner two, uh, deploy up to uh, as many as the corner. Oh. Leave your unit from your hand to highlight the champions. Corner four, damage to your. Uh, rotate highlighted units one step backwards. Damn. That's a really sexy foil, though. And also a pretty good card. So, whoop. Don't bump the camera. We're not even halfway this box yet. Uh, that's also an uncommon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Grave Call. Charging Black Knight. Glory of War. That would. Oh yeah, Grave Call was a mistake. Grave Call wasn't a uh, common people. Uh Servant Dead. Our rare is uh Frightful Strike. Three damage to your opponent. I'm gonna get it a little bit closer. Three damage to your opponent. If the highlighted champion is a lower cost than the acting champion and there is no highlight unit in play, your opponent shuffles one card from the hand into their deck. That's a lot of restriction there. I don't like that. It's too much of a restriction. Divine Blessing. Lord of Change. It's a Demon Lord. Impone. And we got a Foil Rare here. Our first Foil Rare so far. And it's a unique foil. So I'm really happy pulling this. It's a very strikes um strikes the champion warrior heroic act restart the highlight the stonecaster unit this heroic act can only be used once per game instead of once per you know uh turn beautiful foil really happy on pulling that uh, unique card uh, in foil so double uh, rare pack there not too bad not too bad i know you can get more Rares in this if you want. There is a chance. They're really small though. Um, yeah, have you played this card game yet? Or are you interested in it? Are you interested in uh, more unboxings by me? So that's our first. Uh, Divine Vengeance. Soul Feast. Walk all really good card. Uh, mush pit. <laughs> mush pit! <laughs> Three damage to your opponents. Increase this by uh, the support of highlighted units. Discard the top card of your opponents. Da oh my god, that's gold. That's really good. Uh, Frenzy's War Chant. It's a champion. Uh, we got another double champion pack here. Savage Boar Boss, it's a common champion. And we got a foil ethereal horde. Ethereal? Ethereal. I'm sorry. I am bad in pronunciation. Pronunciation. <laughs> also, I have a bit of a cold, so that's why I sound a bit weird. 
Ba -dup. Here we go. Uh, Reckless Inspiration. Show of Groot. Uh, Searing Lights. Oh, Call of War. Really good card. Ploy Auric or Groot Jr. from your hand or deck onto a highlighted champion. Normal restrictions do apply. If the deck was searched, shovel it afterwards. Really good card. Blood of Throne Corn. Corn. Uh, Blessing Weapon. Oh, we got another Foil Champion here. Um, Blood Reaver Chieftain. There you go. So, yeah. Did you even know this game existed? Because, uh, well, we sold out. It's funny. The game sold out uh, within the first five weeks. And we sold out in the first two weeks. So we couldn't get any more cards. <laughs> so they sold out really quick. They sold like 8 million in the first five weeks. Uh, Reckless Inspiration again. Uh, Cap Kronos Flamer. Glory of War, and our rare is Inspiring Glory. Whenever a highlighted champion deploys a unit, draw a card and rotate this one step uh, forward. Well, draw two cards, actually. Heroic Act, gain two life, exhaust this spell. Great card, great card. We got a uh, Crit Hunter. Uh, Bat of Blood. And a Foil Rallying Cry. Not bad, I actually use that card. So, another card. Info for my deck. <laughs> Some people have been telling me these cards feel really weird, which they do because they have an imprint at the back. People who didn't know. They have like this weird uh, back, but it's you feel the back and it feels really, really weird. Divine Vengeance. Horn is chosen. Servant dead. And we've got a rare unit. Bovoltia Moss Rod Guardian. Okay, that's a stupid and complicated name. Uh, damage to your opponent increases by 2. And remove highlighted unit if this champion has completed its quest. Then we have uh, Knight Halbro. War was oh that's War was recruiter and we got another foil champion. We got a good foil champion because we got our brought go king champion warrior increased damage done from highlighted modern champions abilities by one. That's really cool. I must say uh, a vampire lord of course. And also it's a uh, Wizard Warrior, which is a fun typing, which is really good, actually, really good typing. There we go, skipping over all the commons, Brutal Smash, Tactical Formation, Swift Norman Reaver, Pain Induced for a uh, Fury, well. When you receive damage from highlight, that ally deal damage to your opponent. Okay, cool. We got Gone Summoner, Bone Splitter, uh, Bone Splitter Shaman, and a Cryptic Shield Skeleton. Fun, oh, fun card. Good card. Nice and foil. Nice to have in the collection. Well, so this set only has 278 cards in it right now, so that's the entire game. There's not too much from Show's Um I've not seen every single card yet, but I've seen a lot of cards. Search of Justice, Summon Demon, the Black Knight, we got Snack Skink Mutler, Champion, Wizard, Heroic Act, a uh, rotated highlighted spell to its last corner. This heroic act can only be used once per game. Cool. 
Ah, uh, Cryptic Inferno Kuritz is our champion. And our blessing is Trenst Fortune. And then we've got a Foil Knight Halberd. Another Foil Champion. So I do really love that Foiling, man. <laughs> foiling in this game is sick. So we're getting there. We're getting to the end of this box. Look at... Ooh. There is... Uh, the entire box. So yeah. Let's continue. Uh, blood for blood god. Blood for the blood god. Walk Chanter! I needed one. <laughs> A really powerful actually. Skeleton Legion. Flow of Chaos. Damage to your opponent. Your opponent cannot gain health from highlighted enemies. Cool. Uh, Rumark Deathbringer. Might of uh, Might of Grok. And um, Black Hunt. A black hunger, that's another foil rare. It's a spell. Increased damage and help from highlighted modern units by its corners. Really not foiling. Another foil rare. There. Kinda must say I am not too fond of how <laughs> little foil rares I've pulled so far. Hoping on like a chance or something in foil. I don't think I'm gonna get what I want though. Uh, another blood for the blood god. Uh, Swift Norman Reaver. Big Stabba Crew. Uh, Rampaging Blood Weaver. As it enters the battlefield, remove a highlighted allied unit. Remove uh, damage to your opponent. Restart this. If a highlighted enemy unit leaves play. Really fun card. Lock and Prince. There is Usan Soul Scryer. We've got a foil instable blood reaver. Alright. Got one, two, three, four, five. Six more packs to go. Divine Vengeance, Gift of Change, Born from Blood, never seen that card before. Uh, Empower of Hordes, Increased Damage Done by Highlighted Units, equal to their support. We got a Lord of Fingrant, Skull Throne, and oh, a Void of Skull Throne and a Skull Throne behind each other. Look how much lighter the foil looks. Funny. <laughs> That's a fun thing to happen there. Having the same card foil behind it. Next pack. We're on to the last five packs. I haven't seen that foil uh, chunter yet. Blood Sacrifice, Inrate of Aplax, Stardrake, Terrify. This can only be deployed by a Vampire, Champion, Highlighted Units, Spells are Dormant. A uh, Crypt Infernal Cone Tree, Lord uh, Acryl, and a Foil Blood in a uh, bait and blood got some really nice foils and some really nice cards i'm really happy with the unique one there this is beautiful fancy blood weaver 
Blood Thirst, Shattering Force, Banner Korea. Highlighted unit cannot be removed. Increase damage done by opponents from highlighted units by the corner value. We got uh, Liberator Prime. Borrow Witch Knight. Got a Foil Healing Storm. Nice. I love how you have foils in every pack. Especially for people like me who like to collect foils. This makes life so much easier. It does bring the value of foils down. But they are still just... They're as rare. Well, no, they're rarer as rares. Well, at least rare, rare. Common wards are as rare as a normal rare. Uh, Razor Shield Leviathan, Surprise and Skulkas, a Gold Chopper Brutes, and a rare is Gaze of Crone. I believe we already had a Gaze of Crone. Didn't we? Get a Gaze of, Gaze of Crone before? Oh, yeah, there. See? So we already had that card. Um, Knight of Orotus, Smash and Bash, and then we've got Walk Ceremony, Uncommon Foil. After this, I will probably be building new decks. So we only have two packs left in this entire box. And I'll say this has been a good box, and looking good. Had some incredibly cool looking cards. But yeah, no value because this game doesn't have value yet. Hungry Foul Beasts. Search of Justice. War Chant. Oh, rare is Lord of Hosts. Ability Warrior. Can only be played by Stormcaster Champion. That costs 7 or more. Gain 2 health. Restart a highlighted unit. Not too amazing, honestly. There's some really down that not amazing rares. Uh, Groot Grunt Boss. Supernatural Whore. And we've got a uh, Volcron Acolytes foil. So, last pack. Will it be that foil watcher? Enter. So I want that Chanter in foil. One of my favorite cards in the game right now. Is that that's a common? That's a common. That's okay. Frenzied Blood Reaver. Uh, Backstabbing Crew. Brutus Reconciles. Cro uh, Claws of the Grave. While you let uh, while your last discarded card is a unit. This card has the effect of that unit's last corner. What? That's actually really, really good. Uh, Luxion Prince. Uh, Obscure and... Ah, uh, Soul Stealer. Well, I'm pretty happy. Got a cool amount of foils, some cool foils, and... Uh, you got that unique out of the box. Really beautiful unique foil there. Only unique of the box. Still really cool. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of Age of Sigma Champions. And I hope to see you guys next time. And as always, stay nerdy.